For a long time, scientists have been trying to solve the mystery of black holes. One of the most elusive and intriguing features of a black hole is its accretion disk, a ring of hot gas and dust that orbits around the black hole and emits light at different wavelengths. But until recently, no one had ever seen direct evidence of an accretion disk around a black hole. That is, until a team of astronomers made a groundbreaking discovery that could change our understanding of these cosmic monsters. In this video, we will explore this amazing discovery and what it means for the fields of astronomy and astrophysics. We will also learn about the nature and origin of black holes, how they form accretion disks, and how they affect their surroundings. So buckle up and get ready for a journey into the dark and mysterious world of black holes. Before we dive into this new discovery, let's review some important facts about black holes. Black holes come in different sizes and shapes, depending on how much mass they have. Some black holes are so small that they could fit in your hand, but they weigh as much as a mountain. These black holes are very hard to find, because they were born when the universe was very young and have been hiding ever since. Some black holes are much bigger, up to 20 times the mass of our sun. These black holes are the result of massive stars collapsing and exploding in spectacular supernovas. These black holes can be found in our own galaxy, the Milky Way, and in other galaxies as well. Sometimes they have companions, such as stars or planets, that orbit around them. But the biggest black holes of all are called supermassive. These black holes have masses that are more than a million suns put together. Scientists believe that every large galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center, including ours. The, the supermassive black hole at the heart of our galaxy is called Sagittarius A star, and it is so huge that it could swallow millions of Earths. But how do we know that these black holes exist if we can't see them? Well, we can see how they affect their surroundings. Black holes can attract matter from nearby stars and gas clouds. As this matter falls toward the black hole, it forms a ring of hot gas and dust that spins around the black hole like a whirlpool. This ring is called an accretion disk, and it is one of the most intriguing and elusive features of a black hole. Accretion disks are very common in the universe. They can be found around young stars that are forming planets, around neutron stars and black holes that are in pairs, and around supermassive black holes that are in active galaxies. Accretion disks around black holes are especially interesting because they can tell us a lot about the properties and behavior of these mysterious objects. For example, by measuring the color and brightness of the light from an accretion disk, we can estimate the mass, spin, and temperature of the black hole. We can also study how the accretion disk interacts with other features of the black hole system, such as jets, winds, and magnetic fields. How did the astronomers find a suitable target to observe an accretion disk around a black hole? Well, they chose a galaxy called 3ZW002, which is about 500 million light years away from Earth. This galaxy is known to host a supermassive black hole at its center with a mass of about 100 million suns. This black hole is not just sitting there quietly. It is actively feeding on matter from its surroundings creating a bright and energetic accretion disk around it. This accretion disk is visible in the optical and ultraviolet regions of the spectrum, which means that we can see it with our eyes or with telescopes that detect visible light or ultraviolet light. However, these regions of the spectrum are not the best ones to study the accretion disk in detail. Why? Because they are often contaminated by other sources of light, such as stars and dust, that can interfere with the signal from the disk. Also, because the accretion disk is very close to the black hole, it is affected by strong gravitational and relativistic effects that can distort or shift the light from the disk. Therefore, the astronomers decided to observe the galaxy in the near-infrared region of the spectrum, which is less affected by dust and other interferences. They used a powerful telescope called the Very Large Telescope, VLT, in Chile, which can collect and focus a large amount of light from distant objects. They also used an instrument called Sinfoni, 
which can obtain high-resolution spectra of the galaxy. A spectrum is a graph that shows how much light is emitted or absorbed at different wavelengths or frequencies. By analyzing the spectrum of the galaxy, the astronomers hope to find clues about the accretion disk of the black hole. So what did they find? To their surprise, they detected two unusual emission lines that were identified as coming from the accretion disk of the black hole. These lines are hydrogen passion beta and helium I, which are normally obscured by dust or diluted by other sources of light. An emission line is a bright feature in a spectrum that corresponds to a specific wavelength or frequency of light emitted by an atom or a molecule. Emission lines are like fingerprints that identify the elements and compounds that produce them. By analyzing the emission lines from an accretion disk, we can learn about its chemical composition, temperature, density, and velocity. The, the astronomers focused on the Galaxy 3 ZW002, which is known to host a supermassive black hole at its center, with a mass of about 100 million suns. The black hole is surrounded by an accretion disk that is very bright in the optical and ultraviolet regions of the spectrum. However, these regions are often contaminated by other sources of light, such as stars and dust, making it hard to isolate the signal from the disk. The unusual emission lines that were detected coming from the accretion disk of the black hole are very important because they can be used to measure the size, temperature, density, and rotation of the accretion disk. The astronomers found that the accretion disk has a radius of about 400 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, a temperature of about 10,000 degrees Celsius, a density of about 10 billion particles per cubic meter, and a rotation speed of about 3,000 kilometers per second. These results are consistent with previous studies and models of accretion disks around supermassive black holes. This discovery is the first direct evidence of an accretion disk around a black hole in the near-infrared region of the spectrum. It provides a new way to probe the inner structure and dynamics of an active galaxy. It also helps us understand how black holes grow and evolve with their host galaxies. So, there you have it. We have learned about a remarkable discovery that could shed new light on one of the most fascinating phenomena in the universe, black holes and their accretion disks. We have seen how astronomers used a clever technique to detect two rare and peculiar emission lines from an accretion disk around a supermassive black hole in a distant galaxy. We have also learned about the nature and origin of black holes, how they form accretion disks, and how they affect their surroundings. Black holes are still mysterious and elusive objects that challenge our understanding of physics and reality. But thanks to advances in technology and observation techniques, we are getting closer to unraveling their secrets and exploring their wonders. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos on science and technology. And don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.